What's going on guys? This is Tall Rick with Urban Cow Gaming and I have another tutorial for you. This is for the thermal evaporation tower. So the basics of the tower are you're going to need a thermal evaporation blocks, you'll need thermal evaporation valve, and you'll need a thermal evaporation controller. Uh, you'll also need uh, mechanical pipes since that's what this device uses. It uh, works entirely in fluids. So let's just get started on it. So you're going to want to build a 4x4 four four base. Uh, you cannot skimp on the corners, and I'll explain that in a little bit. And then your controller will go down on the front, and then you'll need your uh, valves. They can go just about anywhere, it doesn't matter. You'd think you'd need to put you know, the input valve on top, but you really don't. So we're just going to fill this up. Okay, so now that it's the basic structure is done, uh, we can do the inputs. So in this case, I'm assuming that it's going to be used for um, that's going to be used for ore processing. So we input water. And these valves you don't have to configure at all. Um, you just they're just configured by the way that the configurator is set up. So if you want to get the brine out of it, which is what the thermal evaporation tower produces when you put water into it. You just got to make sure that you set the, um, the mechanical pipe to suck. Alright, so that's the basic structure. The thermal evaporation plant's production is based on its temperature. Unfortunately, covering it in lava does not increase its temperature at all. Uh, you have to uh, do certain things. So one of those ways is to remove the corners up here, and that's why you can't... Um, build it without the corners and you can put as many advanced solar generators as you want and that will drastically incre increase the temperature. Uh, that is not the only way to heat this though. The other way, put another vent in and then use these thermo uh, thermodynamic conductors then use a resistive heater and basically what these do is they produce heat, which then is transferred into the tower. And if we go over and look at this uh, controller here, we'll see that the temperature is rising again, which will increase the amount of uh, brine that's produced. Um, so this tower can also produce lithium, uh, which I'll go over later in the uh, ore processing series. But this is just the basic building and mechanics behind the thermal evaporation tower. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I want to thank you for watching. This has been Tall Rick with Urban Cow Gaming, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. All right, and here we are at the end of the video. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. We also have a Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv slash urbancowgaming. We also have a bunch of social media sites like Facebook and TikTok, unfortunately. Yeah, over on Twitch we play a bunch of competitive games with myself, Cam, and Julian. Uh, stay tuned for the results of that pretty soon. We've started to play some narrative games, so Detroit Become Human will be coming out fairly soon. And uh, also KOTOR 2, that's Knights of the Old Republic 2, we're doing an unarmed run on that. And if you want to catch that live, you can follow us on Twitch. Uh, but otherwise, you can just stick around on YouTube and we'll uh, put, be putting that out. Uh, in addition to that, we got uh, I have a Star Wars Renegade Squadron uh, playthrough in the works. I just have to edit all of the music out of there because that one uses the quintessential Star Wars music. And Disney will end me for that. So, yeah, that's about it. Just wanted to lay down what's going on, and of course the tutorials will continue to come out as well uh, whenever I get some inspiration for making them. Um, if you want to see anything else in particular, you can leave a comment. Otherwise, uh, have a good one. See ya.